it's your boy Kasili here from African Sports Network and today we're talking about Morocco also known as the Atlas Lions. Wow. Uh, so today we're talking about them and they featured in five World Cups 1970, 1986, 1994, 1998 and this will be the 6th World Cup in 20 years. The last showing was 1998. So let's jump into their history. So the first World Cup was in 1970, although they tried qualifying for the World Cup in 1962. And in 1970, they were drawn against Peru, West Germany, and Bulgaria. So in the first game, they were given West Germany, the current German squad. But that German squad had legends, legit legends. Ebu, just how. Franz Beckenbauer. We have uh, who's this guy? Jad Muller. I think he was he's the leading top scorer in Europe. And these guys gave West Germany a run for their money. 2-1. In fact, they were leading West Germany 1-0 going to halftime, but because of experience they lost 2-1, sadly. The second game, uh, not so good, lost to Peru. Aminu considered the world the world of football and then they got a stalemate of nil nil with Bulgaria. The second World Cup, which is the best to date, were actually given another good team in England. They had the England team had Gary Lineker, Brian Johnson, and I think Ray Wilkins. They also had Peter Shilton, who was the best goalkeeper, I think, during those days. Uh, Considering that, people thought Morocco is going to lose, but guess what? They pulled another stunt, drawing nil-nil. They drew nil-nil with Poland also and ended up beating Portugal, who are coming back to the World Cup after 20 good years. The last showing was 1966 when they had the legend Ari Eusebio. Um, this World Cup proved to be the best showing they came out of the group and went into the second stage, which was the round of 16, where they, they met the mighty West Germany once again. But this time, they managed to hold them for 87 good minutes, but ended up losing one nil. During the 1994 World Cup, they were not able to replicate the showing in 1986 and ended up getting out of the group stage without winning any a single game. So in 1998, they once again qualified for the World Cup. This was the second consecutive time everybody clapped for Morocco. The first time qualifying for the World Cup consecutively. Here they were drawn against Scotland, Brazil, and Norway. In the face of Brazil, these guys were the defending champions, and I think the first game was against Norway, where they drew 2 2. They went and then they were whooped by Brazil, 3-0, and they played the last match where they won 3-0 to Scotland. After that, they didn't qualify once again. They didn't qualify for 20 good years. The current World Cup squad is really strong, consisting of a four-man defense that hasn't conceded a single goal in qualification. Uh, it's made of Ashraf Hakimi, who plays for Real Madrid. They have Mehdi Benatia, who plays for Juventus. These clubs are known for their defensive structure, and these players have brought in the type of play into the national team. At the front, they have El Kabi, Ayub El Kabi. He's a striker who plays for club in Morocco. They also have Younes Belhanda, who plays for Galatasaray, and Ziyech, a star man for the Ajax Football Club. Uh, they are drawn against Portugal, Spain, and Iran. People are predicting that they'll finish third in the group, but I don't think so. They have proven to be a good team, and I am so sure they'll come second after Spain. Spain is a very, very good team. Uh, but we'll see, we'll wait and see. And good luck to Morocco. We got you.